There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. The release this weekend of videos recorded by military pilots is unusual because officially the U.S. government stopped collecting information about UFOs in 1969 when the Air Force canceled Project Blue Book. But in the decades since, pilots and others continued to encounter technology that is beyond anything known on Earth. If China, Russia, Japan, other countries are doing this and we're not, something's wrong. He said, because if the technology we have, the way these things are described and the way people see them, if this movement took place in anything we have now available to us, it would kill everybody. They couldn't withstand those G-forces. Something sitting there and boom, down it goes. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid's interest in UFOs extends back to the 1980s. It was rekindled in the 90s when Reid spoke to Senator and former astronaut John Glenn about unknown aerial objects. Reid eventually met in a secure room in the U.S. Capitol to ask Senators Daniel Inouye and Ted Stevens if they would authorize funds for a quiet but serious study of UFOs. Both agreed. Are you glad um, the story's out? Yeah, I'm very glad. Because now we have scientific evidence. Reed says he's proud to have had a hand in kickstarting the Pentagon study. And contrary to some media reports, the information collected was impressive, he says. For nearly the last decade, I ran a sensitive aerospace threat identification program focusing on unidentified aerial technologies. It was in this position I learned that the phenomena is indeed real. Until three months ago, Luis Elizondo worked directly for the Secretary of Defense and was the Pentagon's point man for collection of data about mysterious encounters. When he announced in October he'd been in charge of a 10-year UFO study, the news was largely ignored by mainstream media. Now it has blossomed into a huge story, in part because Reed acknowledges his own role in getting the funds approved. Even though this was a secure program, we wanted to make sure that people couldn't complain that was some sweetheart deal. No, it was put out to bid. The contract was posted for months. The winning here, bid came from Las go. Vegas space yeah, entrepreneur Oklahoma Robert day. Bigelow, it's a billionaire who has funded his own UFO yeah, studies for years. Bigelow built secure facilities inside his aerospace company. At its peak, the study had 46 scientists working at the Nevada facility, writing reports and analyzing data that came in from the military. Rapid response teams were dispatched to the scene of UFO events. Over the five years, the project cost a total of $22 million. It wasn't a moneymaker for Bigelow. I'm sure one reason it helped is he gave the best cost <laughs> because he was willing to... Uh, build the infrastructure, he did everything on his own because he, he liked the subject. In some news stories about the UFO study, anonymous staffers say Reed stopped supporting the study because it produced no solid information. Well, of course, Reed didn't kill the program. I wish it, I wish it were still going.